it's a pretty life-threatening complication. So sorry, I'm giving. No, it, this is really scary. How am I supposed to? <laughs> this seems like that? torture. <laughs> Sad. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog. <laughs> so today's vlog is um, not off to a good start. Today, just in general, is not off to a good start. Ever since we woke up this morning, there has just been broken person after broken person after broken animal. It seems like we are literally a bunch of broken people living in this broken house. We woke up this morning, and the first thing that we noticed that Mango was acting very strange, which is kind of weird because even last night, she was having such a fun time. Like the day before, she was having a good time. Normally, when she gets sick it's like we kind of know maybe something might happen maybe not and then we monitor her and then it's like oh the next day either she's fine and that was just like a little thing that she had or she gets sick take her to the vet but they just it just hit us out of nowhere. Up until last night, she was perfectly fine. Everything was perfect. And then we wake up in the morning and she doesn't want to eat food, which is almost like saying Stephanie doesn't want to eat food because me and Mango really connect on that food level. And she's the type of dog that will eat all of her food and then wait for Tiger to finish just so she can lick up the remnants, the little scraps of his bowl. Like that's the type of girl that she is. But she wouldn't even touch her food this morning. And so my mom was concerned she fed them and then she like came into our room and was like what's going on with mango and normally when she opens the door mango's the type that will like try to run onto our bed sometimes we let her on recently we've been really bad and we've let her on like almost every single second and so she'll like run up to the bed and like kiss um, my fiance and stuff because that's like her alpha no but literally like not in like the funny dan dan word <laughs> right now mango sleeps with your mom yeah so she comes to say good morning every morning yeah me i have my fiance and then my mom really loves mango and then dan dan's favorite is tiger and then Patricia's you, all alone. Why do you make me sound like a dog or something? <laughs> <laughs> And I've got my fiance, and I so got you. <laughs> we're all even. We all have some dogs we sleep with. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My mom has been sleeping with Mango on the bed, and she'll like run up and like kiss my fiance because she loves my fiance the most out of everyone in Mango, this house. Mango, not your mom. And the, oh yeah, that's weird. This morning, like our bed, as you can see, there's like this wooden block, and then on top of it, there's like a block of mattress. And she's so good. She loves this bed because it's like two steps for her, you know. Whereas high bed, she has to jump, and she makes it up onto the wooden block. And and she ran out of energy and she couldn't get up onto the mattress which isn't even like a jump it's like just it's like this step. it's literally just a thin mattress on top of it it's like a step and she couldn't jump onto the mattress and so we're all staring at her and my mom's like that's so weird and we're like what's going on and so then my mom picks her up gently and puts her on the bed and normally my fiance was sitting on the bed she would run to my fiance or at least walk and like start hanging out with him and she just kind of laid down exactly where she was left and like the weirder thing is that Tiger also ran into the room and normally he'll run onto the bed and they'll both like run towards me and my fiance but he just like ran up to the bed and then laid down next to her and it was the saddest thing you could literally feel her shaking on the bed because it was shaking the mattress and so we were like okay like we need to get dressed we need to like hurry up take her to the vet when we were taking her to the vet it wasn't as serious as when we left the vet so when we were taking her it was serious but we were pretty certain it was pneumonia like we even called the vet before we got there and we were like listen like look up mango's file and they were like oh yeah like maybe it is pneumonia and i was like yeah it's like all the same symptoms she gets it all the time and so it's kind of like one of those things that we can't prevent but we know at least how to treat it you just take her to the vet they you know give some medicine and she's usually perfectly fine in a couple days and this time we get a call and we're sitting in the parking lot because this vet does not let you go in anymore because of social distancing so they'll come get your dog with like masks on from your car and then they'll call you instead of having like a doctor come into the room face to face and the doctor was saying like we noticed a lot of weird things and I was mm -hmm. like what do, you, what do you mean weird things and she's like okay first I just want to put a quick disclaimer this is not what it sounds like because if I heard this, I'd be like, oh, that sounds really bad. She's bruising on her belly, so it's not like she's been playing rough. The bruising is internal, which is worse. So weird. And so she has like these little pink spots on her belly, and they said that she, and they, they're not a lot, so we didn't even notice it. And she has um, bleeding in her butt, and her eye is bleeding, which. Which I didn't even see. See, no, I, mean, I don't know where they found that. Yeah, I like there's no like we but the crazy thing is also we clean their faces every day. So we would have seen if like her eye was weird. The only thing I noticed was that she had a little more eye boogers. 
than normal. So they called me and like told me all of that and I was like freaking out and breaking down. And then they said that they're gonna run some blood tests because they think that she's having like blood clotting issues. We came home. Um, I think she's gonna be there for a while today. They told us to go grab some lunch and because there's no like traffic anymore in LA. Thankfully, we could come home in like 10, 15 minutes instead of like 40, 45 minutes. So we're just gonna wait it out, see what they say. It's like gonna be one of those vlogs where like you're gonna see I'm not gonna be super excited about anything because I think I'm just like waiting for them to call instead of like I don't think I can really focus on anything and like really get into something right now. I'm just hoping that like whatever it is. At least be treatable because like we've never had any blood clotting issues with any of our dogs so it just sounds like really scary for us she's literally miss mango butt <laughs> so i'm a little sad right now sorry and then my fiance can't even comfort me because his neck is like broken i don't know what happened yesterday he woke up with like a weird neck and he started to do strenuous exercises at night with dan dan because i don't know like bro sh dude sh right and then this morning he woke up and if you say babe and he's sitting like this and you're next to him he'll go like this yes he can't turn his neck and so he's just sitting just like this can you even what can you do i can do everything what else you want me to do you just look like an aggressive flamingo you're just like <laughs> like very aggressive so he has this little um, pus on his neck, which is like a Korean tiger bomb sticker, I think. Yeah. <laughs> My mom put it on his neck. She has a lot because when she does tennis, like her shoulder or table oh, tennis, shit. ping pong, her shoulder gets sore. And oh. so she puts a lot on her shoulder and her neck. Does it help her? Yeah, she says it helps a lot, but she says let her know when it gets weak and she'll stick another one on. Then I woke up super sore. Me and Patricia stayed up till like four in the morning. So it's just been kind of like a weird morning. Like since the minute that we woke up, things have just not been going according to plan. So we're just gonna kind of maybe try to find things to make ourselves feel better. I'm gonna try to distract myself because right now I keep doing this thing where I keep looking at my phone. Like even while I'm vlogging, I keep wanting to look at my phone and like see if they called. Did they call? Did they call? But one thing that I thought was maybe enduring was um, the vet was like, you know, I, I think it'll take about maybe an hour, an hour and a half because we have some critical patients first. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, thank God. Like, Mango's not part of the critical patients yet. And the doctor is the one with the Frenchie. Oh, is it her? Yeah, yeah. She's been there for like years and she has mm -hmm. Frenchies and she loves our dogs. So I feel really good about this. Let's go meet the rest of the squad that are also dying. We've all got problems this morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you care that your sister is gone. We just realized we haven't really eaten anything since we got back from the vet and I would say that right now Patricia and I are emotionally injured from last night. <laughs> we stayed up till 4 in the morning really digging deep into our arseholes, into our freaking souls where there was just so much information and we just like kind of like went in there and took it out and then flung it at each other <laughs> and then we woke up this morning mentally drained and then the whole mango thing happened and my fiance is physically broken with his neck and my mom is physically broken but she's more emotional about mango, mango. Than, she's probably like maybe a little more emotional than me about mango and so we realized that there's really only two candidates <laughs> right now that are that are able-bodied <laughs> and mentally stable right now but, not. <laughs> but not for long and it's tiger who's like really trying to find a way to sneak onto the freaking couch without any of us getting mad at him <laughs> he's looking away he's like what that was <gasps> right in front of the camera honey He's like, whatever. They all scared and didn't say anything, so that must mean yes. <laughs> and Dan Dan, who is physically well bodied. So that means Dan Dan. Yeah. As breakfast Megan, duty is breakfast. on you. Okay, let me show you guys what we're making. I found this. I feel like if I just told him to make a breakfast, he would have no idea what to do. <laughs> so we're gonna have him see if he can try to make a sweet Korean pancake mix, which is called hot dog mix. Have you had this, Dan Dan? Which yeah, shouldn't be confused with hot dog. Good? It's really good. It's sweet. Wait. It's level three out of level five hard. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. How confident are you? Um. Yes, purple hair fellow. <laughs> we'll give you like 30 minutes, yeah? 30 minutes? <laughs> Okay, let, me, let my injured body do this. No! Jesus. This bitch literally told Patricia to get a memory cup. <laughs> and she, and she said, cup. There was no measurement of the memory cup. Your torso looks so long because you just let it. <laughs> What's going on with you guys? You turned memory. No, wait. Measuring cup into memory cup. Yeast into yeast. And bowl into ball. Sir? 
Yes. I thought you were not cooking today. <laughs> yeah, but I really don't trust him. <laughs> Whoa. So he's like, we only have one mix, so we can't fuck yeah. up. <laughs> do you guys wanna want Danan to do this or injured me to do this? Injured you. Wow. <laughs> now I'm emotionally hurt. <laughs> now you're also part of the emotionally injured. <laughs> he said I need 16 floor ounces, okay? I'm sorry, can you make it a little tighter? Why is it so wrinkly? So it's cheap. What? Honey, I'll punch you. Would you go to them pockets? We got some money in here now. <laughs> Dana, you know how to need? Need? Need oh, for us. That. He's like, I need a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to need. So he's about to knead the dough for five minutes, and you guys are about to witness how talented this man pans are for the first time. You guys ready? Wow, yeah. it looks so artsy right now. Also, we're just <laughs> standing around staring at the injured man. Is this, uh, can you like not okay. all stare at me now? Okay, sorry, we'll just go away. Taking oil, now divide by into eight into balls. Eight balls. One ball. Yeah. Keep then just making like balls. balls. After balls. you make the balls, the bowls, the bowls, you're gonna flatten them and then we're gonna add a spoonful of filling to the center. A hot dog? A hot dog. Oh. I can't say it. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. What's hot? Dog. What's <laughs> hey, can you not stop for us? Why can't I touch your butt? <laughs> yeah, then why are you getting all like. Yeah, yeah. FOMO. He's oh. getting jealous. He's getting protective. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, spoonful, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, that's gonna be good. It already Two, smells good. Yeah. Three, four, five, six. You should have rolled it out with a rolling pin. Mm. Seven. Ooh. There's gonna be a lot of bread happening. Yeah. Like, you have that, right? Eight. Yeah. It's Dang. too late. Make it flat so there's not so much dough in one bite. <laughs> Make it a boomerang. <laughs> Bruh. Can you like not be here? You ruined all my hard work. Oh Stephanie my God, comes like in. <laughs> what are you doing? That looks like what a is that? Yeah. yeah, get out of here. I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so in Chinese culture, you eat what you make. So this one is Stephanie. No! Time me fix it! No. Make it flatter. Got the oil in the pan. We've got the hot dogs. Uh, Flatten it, okay? Why aren't you doing mine? <laughs> Why aren't you okay, doing mine? Okay, let's get another mine? pot for, for Stephanie. Thank you. Couple minutes. Of hot dogs. Okay, Patricia. Wait, Patricia. Okay. It's no, it all you have been saying all of our flip the dough. Make it flat. Make it flat, huh? Flatten it. She's just flattening them out now. Making them look like hamburger patties. <laughs> you guys don't ruin my thing. I'm sorry. Okay, they're calling. Hold on. Shh. Hello? Hi, this is Dr. Ross calling about Mango. I'm sorry that took such a long time. I was just, we were waiting for the blood work to run. There were a lot of uh, samples being run ahead of uh, Mango. Mango does have some pretty significant abnormalities on her blood work. I ran a second test called a CBC or a complete blood count. She has no platelets. Platelets are, I would say, the foot soldiers of the body's ability to clot blood normally. So like eventually the bleeding stops and you get a scab that's all part of where the platelets come in when you don't have any platelets you're at risk for having bleeding because the platelets are not there to come to the defense mango has evidence of bleeding on her skin so on her belly she has bruises that are there because the body cannot clot blood normally because they don't have any platelets and she also has some bleeding on the whites of her eyes because she doesn't have any platelets she is at risk for having bleeding anywhere so it's it's a pretty life-threatening complication i would suggest that she stay in the hospital overnight and get treated with um, immunosuppressive medication right away and have her blood levels monitored overnight to make sure that god forbid she doesn't need a blood transfusion tomorrow the internal medicine department would take over her care because they would be managing her treatment long term yeah that sounds and good. it has nothing to do with anything Oh, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No, no, that sounds good. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, it's just, I'm so sorry. I'm getting... No, it, this is really scary. And I have to tell you that she's at risk for having serious bleeding problems because she is. You know, my hope is that she's a tough cookie and that she's going to be okay. But I have to warn you that it's, it's possible, you know, on the small chance, it is possible that she doesn't respond to therapy. I have yet to have a patient that hasn't responded to therapy, that's been an otherwise very stable, happy, healthy pup. We have to give her time to see if she responds to treatment. And the hope is that she does. Um, but this means that, you know, if this is something autoimmune, 
like an autoimmune disease, anything that stimulates her immune system, vaccinations, she gets a cold, anything that gets her immune system roaring is going to potentially put her at risk for having this happen again. So we typically don't recommend that these patients get any more vaccines unless they're mandated by law. The good news is that a lot of patients respond and they do great and they live on many years and they do wonderfully. But there is going to be a small percentage of patients who don't do as well. You know, I just wanted to let you know that from the get-go so that we can make sure that we're all on the same page. But I think that for her, you know, today we definitely need to get her, definitely should get her hospitalized, start her on treatment right away, and then eventually, hopefully, she does well, and then over the next four to six months, we'll be able to kind of back down on those medications. You know, obviously things are a little bit different with the COVID stuff going on, but we can send you pictures of her. Um, you can call for updates at any time. Honey, just because you're sad doesn't mean you can escape from eating your own creation, you know? <laughs> I'll cut it for you. <laughs> Patricia, you want to try some? Um, sure. <laughs> it's all toast. Here. The part right here, the juicy part. Are you excited? To that eat looks this? good, honestly. That looks so yeah. good. She's like, but how am I supposed to? This open seems my like mouth? torture. <laughs> no? Okay, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. No, she was about to take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. <laughs> mm, okay, so I never really had it like like this Korean authentic way. So somebody's got to tell me if this cook is cooked or not, you. or is this just like undercooked? <laughs> Wait, then then why don't you try the ones we made over there and tell me? <laughs> That's a very big knife, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Seems a little undercooked. Not gonna oh, lie. Really? Hmm? Hmm? Is it kind of doughy though? Mm -mm. No. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me. I taste the dough myself. I like it. Mm. Interesting. As you guys can see, today's been a little wild. It's been a little bit weird. I don't really know what to say. Mango's staying at the hospital for the next couple of days. They think that she has an autoimmune disease, which means that all of her immune system is over fighting everything. And I started looking into it and I watched people who have dogs with an autoimmune disease. And it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot of information and a lot of things that are probably gonna be changing in this house. I don't know, I guess if you guys have a dog that has an autoimmune disease, or if you guys have ever dealt with like a dog that has an autoimmune disease, if you guys can give me some tips. I feel like everything you look online just makes it seem so scary and impossible and just like a lot, but I'm sure there's lots of people who do do it and everything's fine and their dog lives healthy for many, many years to come. So yeah, I feel pretty cried out all day. They sent me a picture of her though. They said that she's comfortable and she's been sleeping a lot, which I don't know if that's a good thing because if they know Mango, she doesn't sleep a lot. <laughs> she hangs out a lot. <laughs> but they said that if they don't call at night, that's a good thing because that means everything's going well and they don't need to do any emergency services and we haven't gotten a call yet. But I just feel weird like trying to go to sleep right now. And I feel like Tiger's acting weird. I don't know if it's in my head. I don't even know if Tiger even knows what's going on. Like if he's like, Wait, there was another dog in the house? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> or if he's just like, Oh, yeah, Mango, that person, I miss her. Yeah, I don't know. But it just feels weird here. I just, like, miss her snorting already. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today. I don't know if I, you probably didn't enjoy today's vlog, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope tomorrow's gonna be a better day. We get some good news and tomorrow's vlog will be better. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh